Hello, I'm Ineas from ToriadCinematics.com and today I'll be showing you how to create some grass in Cinema 4D. So if you want to see a preview for this tutorial, you can always check that out on my Facebook page. The link will be in the description. Uh, let's check it out over here. Um, this is what we are going to create today. So some simple grass in Cinema 4D. So yeah, let's get started. Um, I'm gonna close this down and okay, I'm in Cinema 4D. Go to File, New. And then go to your render settings over here and I'm going to enter my um, recording dimensions over here. So I'm going for a 720p and then I'm going to close this down. I'm going to leave all the other settings as they are uh, so uh, it will render a lot faster. Then I'm going to create a new cube and that cube I'm going to change the X and Z to 1000. And there we go. And the Y I'm going to change it to 20. And for the X and Z I'm going to change those to 50. So now we have a lot more segments and now we can add some variation curves uh, in the ground as you, can, as you will see later on. So once you've got this, what you have right here, click on the cube and then click over here to create an editable layer. And now you can create a new material. Um, double click on the material and now we are going to create some standard um, dirt kind of color. So I'm going to um, deselect the specular over here. So just click over here, then go back to color. And I'm going to load a noise factor. Click on noise, and I'm going to change those colors to uh, a brownish color. So one lighter and one darker brownish color. Okay, there we go. And now I'm going to add a layer to this. So click on layer, click um, open the layer, create a new shader, and add noise again. Click on the noise, and again use two different browns that you like something like this, I'm going more oranges, okay, and there we go, um, maybe a little bit lighter over here, okay, and now the global scale, we want to change that to 300%, and go back to your layer and change the blending mode to burn over here, so now we have some kind of um, dirt uh, material, so close this down and dra drag and drop this material onto the cube, um, click on the material over here and then just select seamless so we have some better variations on there. Double click on the layer again and we'll just add a simple displacement map over here. So load a noise effect again, open the noise and then just uh, change the global scale to 300% and that's all we're gonna do. And now if we render this out you can see we have some um, small variations in the floor. Uh, maybe you can even increase that uh, amount of height over here to 10 for the displacement. Close this down and render this again. And this is looking pretty good, I guess. So now what you're going to do is click over here and go into the top view part. Then scroll up so we can see the whole part. And then we're going to use the polygon mode to select all these polygons. Then click over here and select the rectangle selection. Make sure only select visible elements are checked on, else you will have the bottom polygons also selected. So that's not what we want. So we're just going to select these polygons and then go back in the perspective view. And now we can add the grass uh, to this. We are going to do this with a hair simulator. So go to simulate, go to hair objects and add hair. So now just uh, click on the hair and go to guides over here. So length, we will change it to 20 and go to hair and the count will increase it to 50,000. Um, the more you will uh, enter the counts, the longer it's gonna take for the render, but uh, it's gonna be better and it's gonna look a lot better. So if you play this now, you can see all the hairs are falling down and that's not what we want. So we wanna change that by going to dynamics, open the properties panel, and then just change the rest hold to 80%. Now what we want to do is um, animate, uh, no, we want to edit the material for our hair, so now it's kind of furish. If you pre-render this first by holding Ctrl and pressing R on the keyboard, you will see what we have right now. Um, and it's looking like a fur kind of thing, not really grass, so we want to change that. Um, okay, so this is what we have right now, not looking too great. Uh, so double click on the material for the hair. Change the colors to a greenish color for um, that looks kind of grass. Um, okay, double click. Okay, there we go. Um, then go to length over here. Check the length. And the variation, we want to change it to 80% or so. 
Um, then I want to change the frizz over here. Uh, maybe 25 frizz for some variations in the hair kink and clump. Um, that should be good enough. Kink, I'm going to change it to 20 or 15. And close this down and drag and drop this. Oh no, you don't have to drag and drop this. It's already over there. Pre render this again and let's see what we have. Okay, so uh, looking pretty good, I guess. Um, but one of the most important things to make this look uh, really great is adding lights. Um, it does a lot of things uh, to your composition. So add three lights. Um, add the first light. Scroll out so you can see the whole um, composition over here. And go back to the modal mode over here and then just move it up front to the right. Change the color to a nice light orange, not too um, bright. And change the shadows to soft. That's all you gotta do. Then just hold Ctrl and press C on the keyboard and press V on the keyboard to duplicate the slide. Move it back over here and to the left. Now change the orange to a blue color uh, for some contrast over there. Then you can duplicate it one more time and move it over here. And change the intensity to 40% and change the color to white. And now if you zoom back in and we render this out, let's see what we have. So this is our grass that we have right now, looking pretty uh, great. Uh, maybe you want to increase um, the amount of grass and maybe decrease uh, the frizz a bit, I guess. Um, just change these. Uh, clump is good, okay. Frizz to 15. Okay, and now close this down. I'm going to add a few more hairs, so I'm going for 80,000. And then I'm going to add a physical sky over here. And click on the sky. I'm just going to use a preset right now because, um, yeah, I'm not going too far into this. So a nice preset. I'm going to use this guy. And that's all I'm going to do. But um, another thing I'm going to do is go to the sun tab and change the intensity to 130%. Uh, okay. Now I'm going to add a new camera. Click on this um, square over here so it becomes white. And now you're in the camera itself. So if you move... Um, into your composition now it's going to show you what the camera sees so uh, find a nice position and render this again to see what we have okay so it's almost rendered out um, I really like what I have right now so um, if you don't like it yet you can just keep animating uh, things like specular for the grass um, try different light setups um, just mess around a bit because it's not going to look perfect from the first time. Um, something like this you have to practice and use a lot. So um, another thing we can do is add some mountains in the background to fill up our composition over here. Because it's looking kind of empty. Um, so I'm going to create um, a few quick mountains in the background. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Go over here and add a landscape. And then go to the modal mode again. And then make it higher so it's an actual mountain. Move it up, something like this, and maybe make it a little bit wider, rotate it, uh, whatever you want. Move it back. Okay, there we go. And now click on the landscape and increase the segments to 170 for me. Uh, I don't know what you want, it's all depending on yourself on what you are creating. Then holding and uh, duplicate these mountains a few times and maybe uh, just change it a bit with, uh, with the settings. Um, sea level, okay, increases, plateau level, less, okay, copy and paste it again, make it smaller and a lot larger, okay, there we go, and move it down, okay, there we go, so now we can hold shift and click on the first landscape and then on the, la on the last landscape that we made, hold alt and press G on the keyboard to group these mountains, rename it by double clicking on the text and then rename it to mountain. Um, then we are going to create a new material by double, uh, double clicking over here. Double click on the material itself, go to color and we are going to add a layer again. Open up the layer, add a shader noise and then open up the noise, click on the arrow right over here and now pick something that you like. So I'm going for um, I think I'm going for this one and I'm going to increase the global scale to 200% and then I'm going to change the whites to a gray color. Um, then I'm going back to the layers tab, add a new shader, also noise and I'm going to use a different pattern over here. So um, 
something like this should be working fine and change this to a dark gray color go back to the layers tab and then change the blend mode to um, or screen or overlay just mess around until you get something that you actually like um, so I'm going for normal with a less uh, opacity over here so as you can see if we deselect it um, it's just a small variation not too much then I'm going to drag and drop this to the group layer over here click on the material itself and also click on seamless so um, now if we render this again let's see what we have okay so it's almost rendered out and as you can see it's looking really great to me um, so what you can do now is render this out um, then just add some nice color corrections in Adobe Photoshop to um, give it a final touch but this is how to create a quick scene like this as you can see we only have been uh, editing for 10 minutes okay I didn't I did go fast but um, yeah it's quite easy so I'm not uh, sure why I should go and take my time for this uh, something that easy so um, if you want to check out my other tutorials at my website or at my channel go ahead I have a lot of other tutorials for Cinema 4D, After Effects and Photoshop so um, also go and check my Facebook page because over there uh, you can send suggestions also if you have created something using my tutorials or uh, not using my tutorials and you want to share it with the community upload it over there maybe I will um, post a reaction with my thoughts on uh, what you have created uh, also um, all my IDs for tutor uh, tutorials I will be putting them on there so you can uh, actually see uh, ask uh, you can actually tell if you want the tutorial or not so uh, now if you want to run render, render the scene out you will want to go to the render settings over here change the uh, resolution to whatever you want go to save change it to a JPEG format or you wanna if you want to make an animation take a quick time movie but um, I'm just going to use a, an image so JPEG then click over here to where you want to save it um, then click save um, well call it grass okay save it we don't need an alpha channel because we have filled up the background and all alpha channel just uh, um, deletes everything that's black so um, we don't need this right now go to anti-aliasing and change this to best and go to options and just um, deselect the default light um, that's all you have to do actually so now what you can do also is a physical um, go to the physical tab over here and add depth to field and now if you go to the camera you can actually go to physical tab and you can change the f-stop so and uh, lower you go the more uh, depth to field you will have so uh, blurry in the front of your camera and blurry at the end and you can focus on an object uh, so um, let's go for a 5.6 uh, not too much because it's an actual landscape and then just uh, render this out and check whatever you have um, but make sure you have the um, the sampler to medium because low is actually very low and very bad quality and if you have time to render this out just change it to high and then close it down and render this out um, it will take a few minutes um, but yeah it's worth it so um, thanks for watching this tutorial I hope you enjoyed it and thanks goodbye